It's Miranda. I just woke up and I didn't put makeup on. I actually washed my face and came down here before I put lotion on. I wanted to talk about the stuff that's going on with these. It's so sad to me to see these YouTubers in California <clears throat> because there are a bunch of them who are being really really irresponsible and careless and just are showing what kind of people they are and they just don't seem to realize the impact that they're having i'm keeping up with this stuff because like i have a son and sooner or later he's going to get into this stuff probably and i just want to make sure i'm keeping up that i know what's going on and the thing is i for anyone who isn't aware, there are a bunch of these LA and California and whatever you have in your mind of them, YouTubers who are really trying to follow the rules as much as they can and are very frustrated with the situation. And some of them have chosen to completely ignore, <clears throat> completely ignore it on YouTube in terms of like talking about it every once in a while they'll like maybe say something but otherwise they don't and just understand that sometimes it's because people are separating business from their personal stuff and sometimes it's because they're trying to just compartmentalize because at this point i don't know if anyone's in the same boat as i am but i've even gotten to the point with a lot of these everyone like people want to call them influencers like everyone technically is an influencer and it doesn't have to be a bad influence, by the way. It can be a good influence. I don't know why influence ha influencer has to be such a bad thing. I think it's just because of these specific people who are the loudest. They are being irresponsible because even if, even if, I'll get back to that point I was saying the, that I'm getting so sick of them. But even if every single one of them, when they talk about the COVID test they're doing before these parties, even if they're talking tongue-in-cheek that like, oh, we mean positive, you have to be positive, you have to have the antibodies to get to this party, you know, you never know. But like, even that is so irresponsible because you're still getting a bunch of people in the same space and people can carry things on them and germs on them and still come into contact with a completely random, like just walking down the street, even if you're keeping your distance, something... Like, think about all these things. It's not just like, oh, we're being safe. Clearly, clearly. They say numbers don't lie. I know sometimes, uh, you know, they lie when the person telling them is lying. But, like, I'm sorry. Look around. Like, what, what bubble are you living in? Look around. Things aren't great. Like, I know that it's similar to a flu, but it's, it's similar to a really bad flu, guys. It's not like... Oh yes, it's like the flu that I got last week. No, no, no. It's it's for some people. It's like the flu that gives them pneumonia and really messes them up. And now every single time they get a little cold, they have bronchitis that makes them cough for a month. Like the second you get bronchitis once, you get it again. The second you get pneumonia once, you kind of get it again. So like anyone who's had those things, it's kind of like it's so iffy. So at this point, I am getting so sick of these people doing this over and over again and acting like it's not a big deal that I'm even getting kind of tired of the commentary and drama channels talking about them like I normally will still like watch them and support them the ones who um don't push a narrative too much every once in a while someone like goes with an assumption and then they go a little too far you know, who I was subscribed to last week doesn't mean I've subscribed to this week. Um, I think I ha I've been consistent lately, but like I've been watching a little bit less of certain people. Not because I don't like them, just because the content that they're putting out are people that I just, I don't want to look at anymore. I don't even care. Like I, the only reason I'll watch it from time to time, like I said, is to keep up. But I'm like, frankly, getting really sick of it. It's not even like, oh, what do they do now? It's more like, why are you, this is why they keep doing this because they're getting attention regardless the bad attention is fine for them so what people need is no attention but at the same time i understand that this is like a little cycle 
everybody helps everybody out. Uh, the drama gets the commentary, gets the drama, gets the commentary, gets, you know, it all, it's fine. Um, and it's not necessarily, like, planned out. It's just the way the world works in general. I don't know if you went to high school. I don't know if you uh, watch, uh, you know, the the actual news. Like, have, if you've ever watched that. To all you people out there who truly do not recognize the impact that you are having. I hope that somebody's words do get to you, but I don't expect them to, which is why I'm going to stop doing these for a while, hopefully. Hopefully I can chill out. Because I'm like, it's really, I know it's hard to stay home for some people. I apologize for not having that problem. So like coming from me, it's like, yeah, but you like staying at home. But I am still scared. I'm still worried for my family and like my family not in this house and my family in this house for my friends and for just people that I, I think back on and for places of business that we love that we found out have closed like this is they've closed and it's like really sad. I live in a really great area for food and it's still a great area for food. But when I see the places that have closed that we used to love so much, it's just really it's very sad and it's just a shame that some people are just like yeah but whatever things happen yeah but you know you could minimize the damage by just not being a shit person i'm sorry you're not a shit person i'm not gonna say all of you i'm sure some of you deep down are shit people because I'm, that's just how it works in reality and those of you who like deep down are feeling a little like maybe I should but like I really want to party it's just like really really just really really you can look back on this time you can make videos about how like rough this is like you could like whatever you want like you can capitalize on quarantine if you want I know it's in poor taste but hey you know what it's better for you to do that than to go out and party and do all the shit you should not be doing okay so I just wanted to say all that because um, I'm frustrated with a lot of this stuff that's going on, but I recognize that there's only so much I can do at this point here. This is my fun. It's very random. She's, why is she singing all of a sudden? Oh, she's cooking over here. Oh, now she's doing a parody. Now she's putting makeup in a weird way, you know, like, and, um, hopefully you are like that too. And you, if you want to put something out and you want to let me know, that's it. I'm not trying to mess with anyone's peace of mind as far as that goes we all live in reality though and we all understand that sometimes we need a little escape and here it is so. again i i think i've repeated this before i just want to make sure i'm clear because sometimes i feel like i can say it a little better so i'll look better in the next video i'll have makeup and better lighting when did i get so old every day They, like, how common was this? Anyone who knows these shows, how common was this scene? You're gonna know what I'm talking about. Hey. Hey, wait up. Yeah? Thanks. You know that scene. Thanks. <laughs> That's where that came from.